So there's a test coming up and electron configurations to do and kids are going to college. I don't know. I don't know where everyone was today. Some college thing. And there is a field trip tomorrow and uh, so I'm going to put some information up on Classroom so you can access it and maybe help. So the first thing that I'll be looking at, I'm going to see if this works. Good. Hmm. I need to, I, I'm not able to write. Oops. Wait. Sorry about that. God only knows what I just did. Um, hmm. Well, maybe I can do this with just typing. So, <clears throat> with this deal, this patterns in electron configuration, it says uh, you will looking for patterns and we'll use the periodic table that is right there to identify these patterns and we're focusing on the group number, the period number, and the energy level number primarily. So, yeah, well in the orbital designation because the very first thing we have here is which groups have an S orbital as the last orbital. So we go down here and we look and the very first element we look at is hydrogen and it has an s orbital with one electron in it. Beryllium has an s orbital with two electrons in it. Mag has an s orbital with two electrons in it. Potassium an s orbital with one electron in it. So these two groups right here have uh, the last electrons that went into the element are in the s orbital. This one they're d orbitals, that one they're p orbitals, and that one down there they are f orbitals for the most part. So the groups that have s orbitals as the last, or the orbital, the last electron that went into the element, went into, yeah, something like that, was, an, was groups 1a and 2a. So if I can. I don't know. Right there. Groups 1A and 2A. Oops, capital A. Alrighty then. Which groups have a P orbital as the last orbital? And we go down here and we see right there. You know, I'm, drag I'm still dragging my little text thing from this editing deal. So group 3a has a p orbital, p orbital, p orbital. Group 4a, p orbital, p orbital, p orbital. 5a, p orbital, p orbital. 6a, p orbital. 7a and 8a, excluding helium. Uh, other than helium, group 8a, p orbital, p orbital, p orbital. So we go back up there and say groups uh, 3a. A through 8A. And which, gro which groups? Which groups have a D orbital as the last orbital? And we go down here, and they're right here in this chunk right here. Uh, and so that group 3B, D orbital, D orbital. Group 4B, D orbital, D orbital, D orbital and all the way over here to group 2b, which this is weird, it goes 3b, 4b, 5b, 6b, 7b, 8, 8, 8b, and 1b and 2b. Maybe we'll just call them the transition metals because that lot is called the transition metals. So the groups that have the d orbitals as the last orbitals electrons went in, we'll call them the transition metals. And which section is left? Uh, we cruise down here, so we got all these guys. We got all those guys. We got all those guys. Scoot over there. And the only ones that are left are these guys. 
and there's the inner transition metals right there we could have numbered given the elements you know 58 through 71 and then 90 through 103 but we'll just call them the tra inner transition metals Alrighty, look at group 1A. What is the relationship between period number and the energy level of the valence electron? Okay, so the valence electrons are the last ones that go in. So there's the period number right there. So the period number on right there is 1, and you look at that energy level right there in that electron configuration, and it's 1. And you look at that energy level right there, Wait, you look at that period number right there, and you look at that energy level right there, they're the same number as well, and you note period number, energy level number, period number, energy level number, they're the same number. So if we go back up here, what's the relationship? Uh, and I'm going to just, they are this. For sake of time, if, if I weren't doing this to, to save time, I would write an actual sentence that made sense right there, which would be the relationship between the period number and the energy level of the valence electrons is that they are the same number. They are the same number is a horribly incomplete thought. Uh, but I'm going for time, so I apologize. Let's see, group 3A. What's the relationship between the period number and the energy level of the valence electrons? Uh, there's group 3A right there. So the period number is right there, and it's a 2. And the energy level right there and right there is a 2. And right there, energy level, or period number 4. And you go over here, and it's energy level 4. And it's energy level 4. So all of those guys have the energy level and the period number the same number again. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, look at group 3b. What's the relationship between the period number and the energy level of the d orbitals? All right, so there we go. There is 3b, and the energy level of the, or the d orbitals in there is 3, right there. And the period number is 4. Uh, skip down here a ways. The period number is 6, and the d orbitals energy level number is 5 right there. S period number 7, d orbital number energy level 6. So the energy level of the d orbitals, it lags one behind the period number. Wait, how about is one, no, one, one less? That sounds a little better. The inner transition metals. So we're going to check the inner transition metals with the period number. That, that are period 6 and 7 only. And the energy level number of the F orbitals. So that's period number 6. So you go over here to period number 6, and that's where these guys start down here. It goes 57, 58, 59, 60. So that's period number 6. We cruise down here and find the f orbitals, and they're right there. And the energy level of the f orbitals is 4. There it's um, period number 7. And we go down here to the f orbitals, and they're 5. The f energy level of the f orbitals is 5. So the energy level of the f orbitals is 2 less than the period number. Uh, 2 less. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, look at the 1A groups, 
what is the relationship between the group number and the total number of valence electrons for each element, the A groups. So the A groups, there's the A group, there's the A group, A group, the whole pile of them. So this bunch right here and this big bunch over here. So the group number, all right, so that's group number 1A and the number of valence electrons is right there is 1 and the number of valence electrons right there is 1 and the number of valence electrons right there is 1 and the whole, all the way down that group. This one is group true, true A or 2A. Number of valence electrons is 2. Number of valence electrons is 2. Number of valence electrons is 2. Uh, go over here to 3A and the total number of valence electrons is 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, so the number of valence electrons in this group and the group number are the same and you can check all the way across, it works the same, all the way across right there, group number 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, the number of valence electrons in all of the A groups, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, 8A, uh, the number of valence electrons and that group number is the same. Do, do, do. Easy pace. All right, all done. So the key points of all that are uh, the period number and the energy level number are the same number. So when doing electron configurations, you can just view that as the energy level where the electrons and subsequently the where the orbitals and subsequently where the electrons are. So that right there is energy level 2 s orbital 1 electron that is energy level 2 s orbital 2 electrons energy level 2 p orbital 1 electron so period number energy level number same thing uh, the d orbitals right there these d orbitals the energy level of the d orbitals lags one behind the period number every time all the way across so there, that's the fifth period number or the fifth energy level. The energy level of the d orbitals is four. Uh, there is period number seven. Well, I'm going to do it a six because that's going to. Oh, this this table is. It's it will be easier to see with six. This table is old. This periodic table is old anyway. So there's period number or energy level 6. And there's the d orbitals with energy level 5. And the f orbitals, the energy level of the f orbitals lags 2 behind the period number. So period number 6, energy level 6, energy level 4 of the f orbitals, the f orbitals. And this all relates back to the orbital diagrams and the hierarchy of energies in the the 4s energy level is or the 4s orbital is lower in energy than the 3d and the periodic table is showing that right there. Those are the 4s orbitals. The, there is the 4s orbital right there and they the electrons go in there before they go into those 3d orbitals and so that the periodic table is showing that, that the fact that the 4s orbitals are lower in energy than the 3d orbitals so there you go there's that uh, patterns in electron configuration thing take care then yikes bye bye now I